Barrow Lake, spring 2018. Still lots of snow around. Lake might be frozen. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah, that's a nice pocket of water. South end of Farrell Lake. Two canoes. We got our pick. Just gotta paddle through the slush. Yeah. A little banged up. You can drop a lure in there. That's for takeoff. You gotta get Jim. Yeah, Jim. <laughs> Jim, do the do the ailerons on the canoe do they are they up or down when you're launching? Yeah, I think they're supposed to be down until you get out there. Then you put them up. Then right? you put them they up. They gotta be down on, to generate the liftoff, is what he explained. What's for lunch? Ostentatious good juicy. Oh, packet gourmet, you're fancy. Yeah. Build a structure of logs, adding kindling as needed. Right, we don't need to do that. Is there something I can tie it up to? Burns for 30 minutes. And what do you do? You pull one of the strings? Yeah, it's supposed to tie off the green one, and then you just... We have to tie off the red one by mistake. Yank on the red one. That's why they're color-coded, and that's why there's some strings. People like me. You want to try the opposite? Here, why don't I, I do? tie it off to your leg? <laughs> uh, 
Check the Green Frog Amazon store. That's right. You want to cover it up? Build it? Build it. It's going to be way out here by the time I pull it out. We can, we can move it around. I don't know. You, you think you should? Huh? There we go. Look at that. You got two feet of strength. I, I'm going to yank that. Good luck. Great for an emergency. Now we're camping. <laughs> oh man. So Ken, if we can keep I mean if we can pray that the wind goes this way instead of directly in, we might survive the night. Ready to get busy. This, this is a guy, he's famous on YouTube. Big outdoorsman. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm good, man. I wish I knew you had those when I ate the wow. sardines. Absolutely nothing. If you're watching, if you've subscribed, I just want to thank you. I hit over 2,500 subscribers on Nature Into Action. I appreciate the support, appreciate all the comments, appreciate the feedback. Uh, just trying to have some fun, share some trip videos mostly. So uh, thanks for tagging along. Leave in a bit for the next folks who come out. What do we got? Short ribs. Short ribs. Little Korean barbecue. Match my face.
here's my setup for this strip. It's a zero degree under quilt, zero degree top quilt from Hammock Gear. I've got the uh, War Bonnet Blackbird Hammock. It's got the uh, top cover, which uh, really does uh, work to keep the heat in quite well and cut the uh, wind a bit. And I'll open it up. Um, you can see I've got some bungee, some suspension here. That way I can keep the uh, bottom quilt up on both sides. So I've got one on the bottom by the feet and one at the top by my head. And then inside, it's just a great cocoon. And it's got that shelf. So you can put things you need right by your head. The last one was the yellow-bellied sapsucker. Uh, the holes in the tree. This is the pileated woodpecker. Nice and thick like that? Yeah. yeah. Did you do anything with that stuff we took last time, David? I used a little bit for some knife handle. Airy burls. Good hairy burl. That looks weird too. You want one of these? First one to the top gets a peanut butter wrap. Made it up Faro Mountain. We're all getting our photos in. Texting the wives. Yeah. Down there is Crane Pond and Okshu Pond. Men of action. On their phones and Find, <laughs> finding some cell service. What an airplane mode, man. This is a no technology trip. Turn them off. Handsome guy. What do you guys think? If you know, make a comment. That'd be a bobcat.
We'll follow it to its lair. There's Farrow Lake. Frozen, April 21st. Wolf cried, Jim. You could have could have been here. Had Swedish fish on top of Faro Mountain. Shout out to Kim and Saria. Get out here. Get outside. We are looping the lake. This is a prime campsite. The views from lean to number three. Yeah, there's the uh, the rock outcrop for you. Oh, is he out there? That's that's a money spot. And there's Pharaoh. They're kind of juicy looking. Yeah, they are. Wintergreen. All right, we're making it back around the lake to camp. Something like five miles, but it sure took a while. It's pretty rugged. Bunch of post holing. Snow's melting today, so all those tree wells are opening up. All the covered streams are breaking through. I can't do it.
You know what we should have done? We should have taken a peanut Thai noodle and put it in the in between the pages. <laughs> Greetings, fellow earthlings. We came across a vegan bear today. He was pretty cool. Why is there no toilet paper at KFC? Because it's finger licking good. <laughs> I miss Harambe. He spoke to me in my dreams. I know he's up there watching all of us. I bet he's enjoying the Lady Gorilla's company, all 72 of them. If he was here, he would have had so much fun with all the turds. Here's one from Kane Broderick. Hiked Crab Pond, Wartleby to Farrell Lake, cleaned up some mess. He's got a great YouTube Adirondack videos. He's paddling. <laughs> Any water seeping in? Two six with narration by Green Frog. Lemon and Lavender's Captain's Log, Day One. Our journey started off after a high-speed chase from Syracuse. <laughs> after we robbed the bank, we managed to lose the popo off a dirt road, and we then grabbed our packs and headed into the wilderness. We found this lean-to and set up shelter. We hunted a porcupine and grilled it up for dinner. That smell must have attracted a bear because next thing we knew there was a nine foot black bear standing behind the fire. <laughs> vigorous, staring, glaring vigorously at us. Luckily, I had, I had left my military knife sitting on the fire's edge and it was red hot. As the black bear stood up on its hind legs and let out a mighty roar, I grabbed the red hot blade and leaped across the fire, lunging the blade into his throat. What? While my arm skin melted onto the knife, 
That bear wasn't finished, though. It flailed, pushing me off into the edge of the fire, which is when Lavender splinted at the flailing bear and slammed its head into a tree, knocking it unconscious, <laughs> while also fracturing, breaking Lavender's right arm. Both injured and sore, we stood up, walked over to that bear, and cut its throat. We then grabbed it and slept inside. We gutted it and slept inside the bear for warmth. It is now morning, and we smell terrible. <laughs> Readings from Lean To Number Six Trail Log. The end. All right, that's it for this one. Farrell Mountain, Farrell Lake. Hiking on out. First tracks of the first deer tracks of the trip on the way out. Slipping and sliding. Oh, check it out. Look at all the, the bait oh, on there. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all the little. Just about back. You can see most of that snow melted that we had on the walk in. Now it's just straight up a stream through the trail. <laughs> 